<clears throat> All right, everybody, welcome to our second uh, custom blast off uh, figure that we have. And this one here is very interesting. Um, this one, as you can tell, is essentially the, um, <clears throat> the jet blast off that had uh, parts altered <clears throat> to be more shuttle like. So, uh, these parts, uh, last I checked, it's like they come from uh, Steam Shield on Shapeways. And uh, they're sold in two parts. There's the canopy section and this other part with the wings and the uh, orbital maneuvering system for the shovel or uh, OMS, if you will. Now, one thing that I like about the OMS is that it added these uh, two, uh, like, uh, ports. So you can, like, uh, let's say, like, uh, some of the weapons in there, if you will. It's a, a storage. So, something the uh, original uh, jet figure lacked. Unlike the other jets which had a nice uh, port right in the middle, this one doesn't. So, it's nice to add these ports to add things. So, yeah. So, the canopy section was replaced. The wings, which I'm told are really hard to uh, remove from uh, in there. Like, apparently you have to drill the sides out and uh, remove it. It's like we're replaced with these, which uh, go down and further back and out, sort of flaring more, uh, flaring out. And then, you know, these uh, OMS parts, they sort of just plug right into the uh, tail fins of the jet mode. Yeah, they do kind of make it uh, painful to transform a, a little bit and they get in the way. So let's uh, start with that. want to slightly move them out just enough, these... Uh, sections here so that like you can pull them out ever so slightly again like these uh, the orbital wing the pieces make it a little hard to do so but yeah there once you do that yes and you can just flare them out as such then you just push this out there like so uh, close these up best you can Add your hand foot piece, and there's your leg mode with the this side of it, like this wing a little bit looser than the other. But that's your basic uh, leg mode, if you will, with the part folded. Uh, yeah, just imagine that part flipped over. So, not the most fashionable of legs, but what's really important with this guy is the arm mode. So focus more on that one. So for now, we get this. Now the head, uh, I, I don't. The shape, the uh, steam shield on Shapeways made a head, but I don't think this is that one. Simply because it has like purple sections on the back. It looks like it has uh, what's that? Light piping. That's the thing. Light piping. So I don't think this was a uh, Shapeways head. Probably whoever made this uh, got it from somewhere else. So yeah, let's. Uh, get the rest of them transformed. So I want to gently pull the arms out. Now comes the fun section of trying to fold out the legs. First things first, try to unpeg. Okay, got one down. Alright. Yeah, it's real joy trying to get them back into it. Shuttle mode later. Again, they don't offer full clearance area clearance to put these leg parts in. So, yeah. Bear with me there. All right. Snap the legs, fold down the arms, and there we have blast off in robot mode. And uh, it, it's quite interesting to see the dynamic changes between the two. Like this one here essentially took the jet blast off and tried to make it more shuttle like. The other one instead took a mold that was already shuttle like and tried to cram blast off in it. So. Obviously, uh, there they are in robot mode for comparison, so you can see the differences. 
vehicle. As you can already see here with the lighting. This one here is straight up Combiner Wars blast off through and through with the new uh, nose cone section and wings and those other pieces on the legs. This one just straight up blast off with uh, a whole new back section added to make it more shuttle like. So, fascinating take on uh, blast off options, if you will. And uh, yeah, let's. Uh, Let's now focus in on uh, the arm mode, if you will. So that one wing is very loose and just flops around. I'm just going to focus the hand now. Uh, you got to love all this AC going on. Pro, it's nice and cool. Con, it's noisy. But so, bear with me. Okay, got the legs in. Get the combiner poured out. Close that back up, and like I said, these wings sort of get in the way ever so slightly. And I guess you just close the arms around it to try to keep them in place and you add the hand yeah this one's a little bit on the looser side now one of the things about this um, because of the tail fit there it makes it hard for this gun to properly connect so that's might want to swap the arms with the uh, with the shockwave so let's grab our Bruticus oh man there we go. Plop in the arm and see how that works. So yeah, I'm not going to put the arm. There we go. Let's uh, make things tall again so we can get a better look. And yeah, see now this one here gives you that uh, nose cone shoulder that the other one lacked. However, those wings kind of get in the way a little bit. Like I said, uh, and just because of the mold itself, that tail fin makes it harder to hold like uh, the bigger gun. I'm not even sure if it can hold shockwave properly, to be honest, but yeah. So this is one of the options you can use by going on Shapeways and the... Uh, Getting these parts from Steam Shield. And I'll put a link in the description of sorts. So, yes. So that was a uh, take on Bruticus's uh, blast off arm to make it more accurate. And, uh, yes, I hope you like these. Uh, I look at these like custom figures. Uh, personally, it's like I, I would say I like the uh, one made from uh, blades better, but uh, this this one is neat to have as a curiosity uh, as sorts. Looks like like most of the other ones uh, that I have. So yeah, I hope you uh, like that and uh, like, share, subscribe. Uh, you know, leave a comment on all your thoughts. Uh, we'll get some more custom pieces in uh, sooner than later, hopefully. If not, we'll just look at some uh, custom. Uh, add-on parts for some of the other combiners. Well, have a great day and uh, catch you next time. Later.